Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Knockout. Knockout is a really cool sports car, and I do like this car. I know people are going to complain about, well, he wasn't fully red in the show. I mean, yes, you got the you got some of the red here, and then you got this kind of dark red, like this brown type of color. But it doesn't bother me. I mean, I kind of like it. Kind of not like I don't prefer it this way, you know, in the show. But it looks pretty cool. I mean, the sad part is there's no yellow. Uh, like in the show, I think, you know, there's a yellow on the wheels, I think. And, I mean, if you look in the bottom, you can totally see the feet right there. And there's the knees, and there's the shoulder pads, and there's what's going to be the crotch piece, or the crotch plate. And then you can see his head right there. But, eh, what are you going to do? And he does have a weapon, which is this thing right here, which... It's weird because on the, on the back of the box, well, the, the bio... It was clear, this was clear blue. This one apparently is just the same paint, just, just black, which I don't understand why. I don't know. It looks kind of cool, but it kind of looks kind of weird, but eh, it's just how it is, you know. But, I mean, what are you going to do? It's just how it's designed. So I'll take the weapon out of the way, and we will transform Knockout. The transformation is a little bit easy, but when you get to the arms, it gets really tough, so be forewarned. So let's get this started. So what we're going to do is go in the back here, and then just unpeg it like that, and then fold the, the legs down like that, and unpeg the legs, and take, I like this part right here, you take this, and you swivel, uh, not swivel, but swing it, what I meant to say, you take it all the way around, and it stays right there, do the same thing on the other side, like that, take the foot, and turn it around and have it like that. I kind of like how the feet are transformed, you know, which is really cool. Kind of like with Star so the Star Screams feet, the way they are. And try to get him to stand, so you gotta do some futzing around with that. So, there we go. We gotta have him standing up like that. Unpeg him like that, and there we go. At this point right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna swivel this whole thing up like that and you're gonna spin it around like that. Let me do it again so I can show it to you. So you gotta take this, swivel it up like that, and then take the whole thing like this. Well, not the car door, just take the whole thing and you're gonna sw uh, swivel that around like that and you're gonna get these out of the way for right now. There we go. Make sure they're straight like that now. Go on top here, take the bumper, and flip it up like that. Well, first you gotta flip up the cod piece, and then do that. And there's a way you gotta work your way down, and then before you do that, you gotta take the headlights and unpack them like that for right now. And let me, ah, there we go. And we will, first you gotta flip up the, uh, the head, which you gotta fold this whole part down like this. And when you fold it down, there is gonna be a peg right here right there and there's a hole right there and once you do that you gotta get the head up so take your finger under his head and just try to push it up like like that and it'll spring up like that and once we peg it in like that if we can there we go in the back here you take these these side pieces and fold them in like that what you do here now I'm not going to show you how it was in the box, because the way it showed in the box, it looks stupid. So what you're supposed to do, okay, so take this part right here, like this, okay? Now unfold it like this, alright? Now f before you fold this in, you got to take the hand out like this. And then, and then now, you can fold it in like that, and peg it and then just put it in like that, and there you go. Now most people will get fooled by this, because this whole hinge right here is stay like this you can't do that you gotta move up like that and then before that you gotta take the hand out and then you can fold it in and then now you can fold that in what I do I lift it up like this and I push it like this and it stays in perfectly so that's why people have many problems with it moving like this so I don't have that problem anymore if you take them up and peg it in like that they'll sit in there snugly in Get his shoulders straightened out, and there we go. Now, whether people are going to hate this guy or love this guy, to me, I love this guy. This guy in robot mode is really great. The detail in there is just great. I mean, the, the shoulders, the head. I, mean, I just like Knockout. I mean, this is the coolest guy ever. Posability. Now, if you peg in the, um, the uh, headlights like I showed you, 
you can now do the whole 360 degrees like that without it getting unpegged, which is really cool. And then you can go like this, you can do a kick, you can go backwards, you can bend the knees like that. The head partially goes, doesn't go 360 to, because of the way it's transformed. You can have it tilting like this. Or you can have them, I don't know, looking up in the sky if you want to, but I don't think you're supposed to. <laughs> Has a little bit of a head move it back and up like that, but nah, it's alright. You can also separate the staff and have it make weapons like in the show, but for me, I like to leave it as a staff so he can hold it and look badass. So on the whole, should you get this guy? Absolutely. I mean, this guy is amazing. And people are going to hate this guy because, you know, it's not what he is in the show because of the colors, you know, but... Eh, they can deal with that. I mean, I didn't have a problem with the color. I mean, I thought it looked decent, but not the way it's supposed to be, but oh well. But besides that, this guy is fantastic. The weapon is cool. The head is cool. The posability is cool. And overall, this is a cool figure, and you should get this guy for your collection. That's all I gotta say, and I'll catch you next time.